What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you the offset phase feature. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so today we'll be working off of this print here. Looking at this print, we want to make sure we're working with the millimeters. So we got to specify the units in millimeters. The first thing is, we'll go ahead and create the first block, the base block, which is 110 by 65 and then 12 millimeters thick. All right, go ahead and create a new file, come up here, click new. You want to specify your units, make sure it's in millimeters. Then come down here, name your part. And then choose your folder destination and go ahead and click OK. All right, so the first thing is you want to create a block, come up here under the block click on block we want it 65 on the x-axis and then we're gonna do 110 in the y-axis and then 12 millimeters in the Z click OK alright so we have our base block alright next we want to create this uh, cutout so it's 78 coming off this back edge and then 45 from this edge alright so you want to come in the extrude click on extrude we want to select this corner make sure you select the right corner this line click on it alright you want to move it going inwards alright so the distance is you want to type in 110 minus 78 And then we want to offset, make sure it's two sided. And this one's going to be 65 minus 45. So this is what I did. I did 110 minus 78. That's going to give us this distance. And the same thing going on the 65 minus 45. That's going to give us this dimension here. So go ahead and click OK. So we have this block. Once you have that, you want to subtract. Click on the subtract. Select your main body. And then select your second body, the second block that we created. And that should take it out. And then we'll go ahead and measure it just to make sure. You want to click on the measuring tool. And then select your object. So this distance from this back edge. To this inner, that should be 78. And then we got 78, so that's right on. And the second distance coming off of the back edge. And then we want to select the inside. And that should be 45. And there it is, 45. Alright, so we're on track. Alright, next. We want to create this back end. So it's coming off the back edge at 50, 52 high so we'll go ahead and do that so come up in the back click on extrude you want to select this back edge make sure it's in red this back line alright and then the distance you want it 52 going up and then you do want to offset it two sided should be 12 millimeters and then as you see it's going outwards, we want it inwards, so you just move it in. And type in 12. And that should take care of that. Alright, once you have that, go ahead and click OK. Then we want to unite these two bodies, so click on Unite. Select your body, and then the second body, click OK. Alright. Next we'll do this cutout, so we'll select this edge, and then come off 45, and then it's uh, 36 actually coming from the bottom, so we'll do that. So under extrude, click on extrude, you want to click this line right here, make sure it's in red, click on it. Alright, so if you get this, you want to change to specify your vector, click on the vector dialog, 
and then we want it to go on the y-axis so we'll select here click on the y-axis reverse the direction so it's going inwards click OK alright so the distance is it's going out 45 from this edge so type in 45 you want to offset it two-sided we want it coming down alright so this one's 52 minus 36 so this is what I did I put 52 minus the 36 that's gonna give us this distance right here go ahead and click OK alright now we have this block so we can go ahead and subtract it click on subtract select your body subtract it click OK alright so now we have the base block we have the back block with the cutouts next we want to create this block and we'll go ahead and extrude it from this side going up same distance 52 alright so you want to move you want to click on extrude you want to select this right here and then it's going up 52 the same distance as the one the, on, the one before and then under offset you want to select two sided going 12 millimeters same thickness as the others click OK alright now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the offset face so before you unite these blocks you want to click on the offset we want to offset it to be at 52 alright so to get there you want to click on menu insert offset scale and there you should see offset face here click on that and then you want to select the face so you want to select this face you want to reverse the direction see now it's going away so you want to go on inside so we want to reverse the direction going inside and the dimensions are we want it 52 but it's actually 65 minus 52 to give us this distance here so you want to type in 65 minus 52 and then go ahead and click OK and that's how we achieve the offset phase now we can go ahead and unite click on the unite select your main body and then your second body go ahead and click OK and let's go ahead and measure those distances so click on the measuring tool so this phase to the back phase that should be 52 there it is 52 so we got this one that's correct alright next we want to hide this the datum coordinate system so uh, go on view you want to move to layers alright you want to select your object and then you want to invert selection so we only have one object which is the datum coordinate system go ahead and click OK and then we'll go ahead and move it to a different layer we'll type in 5 press enter and then go to layer settings and you want to, you want to uncheck layer 5 which is the layer, the layer we just created to hide the datum coordinate system close out alright and last thing is we'll go ahead and change the color so press and hold control J select your object and then under the color box you want to click on that and then choose your uh, preference click, click OK and there's our part according to the print alright there it is alright guys thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe until next time